Hello everybody, this is Sonia. Now I've come back on here today because I want to do some um, work on this journal that I'm making. And um, I thought I should take this along with me because uh, I did show you the, the start of it. I'm just scratching around here as per usual trying to find some bits to put in it. Now I was just going to show you these here that I've been making. These things here I'm going to call my um, page patches. <laughs> they are sort of, aren't they, like a snippet but just a part of one I guess. Um, and I've just been putting pieces of fabric together. Now Originally, I guess, I probably did these here. These are, these are two, inches, two inch squares, right? That's what we, that's probably where I've got the idea in my head somewhere to just continue on with something that's like, oh, it's okay, yeah, there's things. So I've, um, over the time of that, I've got, my twinches have been gifted out, but I will still use, I will often use these ones that I've got here, but I, I do like to keep some. Okay, so I'm going to need some sort of inspiration. So there's, there's a couple of in their little works of art, aren't they? Okay, and I've been making these. Now, um, I think I might do another row of that pink up along there because I've I run out of that. I've got to go look for some more. Um, and that is a piece of um, padded fabric behind there. And it's got a piece of old lace on it, like, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, vintage lace and a flower and a button and then I put a piece of thread through that. Uh, I gathered this piece of satin fabric up and I put a piece of rib uh, there's a piece of ribbon under there that I stitched that on a piece of rickrack I stitched on and I stuck that tiny little flower on there. Um, this one here's got a nice piece of vintage lace behind the back of it and that is a very um, like a vintage piece of embroidery that I've cut off a um, uh, a doily and I just stitched around that with some yellow uh, yellow <laughs> with some purple thread mauve thread put a piece of uh, I don't know whether that was on here or not but there's a bit of crochet from an edge of one or on the edge of that I want to use up my bits and pieces I've got truckloads I never probably will use up my bits and pieces but I'm going to have a go. This is made from a nice piece of really old piece of um, broder on glaze lace that's there. Uh, I don't know if it's fabric or just a piece that I had. Like it might be about that wide and I cut some off that and then I put a, I made a um, yo-yo flower and put them two little um, things on the top, little flowers. And this one here is made out of a piece of really beautiful sheer piece of gathered um, fabric that had the lace across the top and there's a bit of, of, a, of an old brunch coat thingy. <laughs> it wasn't old, it was never even worn. Um, and a, a piece of calico on the back. So they're what I've been working on when I just, you know, need something to, to be playing with, you know, doing. And um, I'm going to just do a bit here today. I don't know, I think I've showed you this far in this in this book that I've been working on. I may have, st I may have not, because I've just stuck that down there, and I need to fix the end of it. Of the, this that means it is a uh, tuck spot, like so. Okay. Now all these pages are very thin, so each one of them's got um, a lot of other things on them. Like this has got this page here's got that on the back, that, like the pieces. Um, lined paper and it makes them a lot thicker then so it's a lot easier to to use to do that um, so I'm just doing this page for the moment for the time being and I'll move those things back out of the way I want to see what I'm going to do with this now the only thing is I've come in here without my washi tape and I haven't got any uh, I've got stamps I think I've got stamps but I don't know what I don't know what um, I'm going to go with. I want a theme of um, really pretty things like garden and butterflies and mushrooms and birds and things like that. And I'm going to put something on here 
because that's, it needs to be finished off properly both those corners. So let me see. Um, just moving about a bit under the table to get my legs comfortable. Uh, I'll put that piece on there, you think. It's a nice blue bit. And because you don't want it sort of just coming to a abrupt ending, you know, you need to have a little bit of a something on there to see. Um, and so I'll put this on here. I'm going to have to um, make up some tags and that for in here too because I haven't got any <clears throat> haven't got any done for this. So I'm going to put that there like that. Now this is this is just a piece <coughs> excuse me that I've cut off a longer bit of um, lace. So this was a longer piece and I just cut off sections. I've got a little box here. It's got my camera thing in it little box with little bits in there, you know, that I've cut off pieces so I could make little bits, okay? Now, um, I'm going to move this one from under behind there. That's a good idea, isn't it? Now, so this side of the page, I've got a mushroom, something for people to colour in. This here needs a little something on here, doesn't it? This calico needs a little something on there. Now, I wonder what I can put on that. Something just to give it a bit more, um, a bit of life, a bit of, bit of, bit of pretty stuff to, to bring, bring it all into the other colours that are in the book. But see, when whoever colours this in, maybe they will go with the colours of the book, so I don't have to worry too much. I'm sure that will happen, so I'm going to put this piece of... Um, lace on there so, or maybe one of these little flowers or a couple of those little flowers that looks cool doesn't it where's another one I wonder if I've got any more of them hey. come here okay no maybe I'm not keen on that let me see what else how about a pink one how about a pink one no. no. Don't know what I think about that. You know what I think I want to do? Put um, a piece of fabric on it coloured. Now this is a nice piece that somebody sent me when I had my giveaway. And I really do love this and there's beautiful colours in it, isn't it? Look at the colours on the flowers, isn't that pretty? Now if I tear that down there, I'll get a couple of... Um, Pretty flowers in it, won't I? Make sure. Just start the cover and then we we'll tear. Really nice. Really pretty, that is. Mm. I want to put it down the bottom, I wonder. Don't know. This is definitely a craft with me, so you're here just watching me, what I do when I'm doing something. This is going to be... <laughs> Maybe I'll have a bright idea along the way, but <laughs> we'll see what happens, eh? Well, you know what? I do have an idea of something that I would do with it. Um, where's, I've got these little tiny scissors. I want to take this bit of... There's a bit of clothing on the back of this button still. I'm going to have to get that off there. I just feel that this page is, because it's only for drawing on, it's missing something. Oh, I hope I don't put too much stuff on the papers. <laughs> Everybody's going to go, oh, dear, Sonia. But, you know what, if you haven't got the things and you don't want to do your own anyway, <clears throat> it's good for that, isn't it? It's good for that purpose. These aren't very good. They're not good at all. We'll, put, we'll get a pair that can, will work for us, please. Okay, now I'm going to cut this bit off here. Like that. Take it. How far will I take it? Because I'm thinking about putting it there or there with the button. I think it just probably needs... 
or something. Yes, I'm gonna. I can't say something's finished until I'm sure that I have finished it. Yeah, we'll put that there. And that's what we're going to do with that bit. And we're going to put something down here. And I would think I would put on a very fine piece of lace, maybe. Maybe something like that would be a good idea. Just to... So that doesn't look so... Um, I don't know. Looks to me to be a little bit lost in this project. Okay. I don't know if you can, you can see what I'm doing here, can't you? So that's good. gone too far have I? Do you think I'm going too far here? <clears throat> oh you do need to put decorations on things you can't just leave them like that. <laughs> you just can't. Right I'm gonna need a I'm gonna need a needle and thread here. I must do something about this pin cushion. I know I've got more. I just seem to be hanging on to this thing for some reason. There's actually a washing up sponge in there. <laughs> Ah dear, Sonia, never mind. Um, I'm creative. <laughs> I am a bit creative. I hope I don't have this going for too long. I do have a timing thing here. But it says 7.41. I don't know what that means. And then it's ticking over. So if I look at the 41 and just think, well, I could add a few more bits on it. Now this, this piece of thread is not the colour that... Well, it's going to, because it's a different colour to the button, I've got glue all over me. Sorry about that. Um, I was doing a bit of gluing because I've even got ideas for another book. <laughs> yeah, no idea. Keep doing the book thing. I can't help myself. I like the journals. I do like them. I've got, I was out there doing a bit of that when I got a bit of happy mail. So, so this colour is good for me. I really like it. I'm sorry about the band-aid. I have a sunspot on there and for some reason it's split. I don't know what the idea with that is, you know, when you get old and or your age spot or something. <laughs> and it was getting bigger and it just split the other day, so yesterday and everything seemed to be getting stuck to it, so it wasn't good at all. I had to cover it over. My husband started going crook on me, he said, <laughs> You need to go to the doctor. Well I might do. <laughs> I will do when I feel like it. I don't. He doesn't. No, I don't need to go there yet. It'll heal up itself. It'll be fine. I'll, and then I'll <coughs> might go and see him one day. <coughs> don't anybody say to me to go to the doctor because I hate them. So it's not worthwhile. Not worth talking about, really. Okay. <coughs> no, that's not a very nice thing for me to say. But I go there with, and they got us, and they just can't. Oh, I just can't deal with it. There's always something else they want to look at first before, like, I'm diabetic, so they say, now let's get this sorted out first and see if that's what's causing it. And you think to yourself, well, you could fix what's wrong with me now, please, and then I'll feel so much better. Uh, but anyway, because then they want you to go back every two weeks. And I'm not the only one, they do it to everybody. I think it's ridiculous. Even if you had a test and there's nothing wrong with you, they still get you to come in to tell you that. It's nice to know, but really? They could tell you that on the phone. <clears throat> that you're okay. <clears throat> anyway, that's my bit of a carrying on there for the day. That'll do me. <clears throat> I hope everybody's having a good time. I am excited because the pool is our pool's going to be open at the end of this month and um, I'm going to be able to go down there and wander around in the pool and drag my whole body about and have a bit of a swim and so forth and feel so much better because it strengthens your muscles and it's so good to do 
really enjoy that. Now that looks pretty cool. Don't you think this made a big difference to the page, really? You know, I mean, <laughs> I do, putting a bit bit of um, bits and pieces on. And it's so much fun using these little bits. I've always been a person that would lo love to create with something that's not much to start with, you know. It's good to have all the right bits and pieces, but it's really much more fun if you come up with something that's out of... Well, that's out of a book, and that's out of a book, and that would come out of a book. These are bits of fabric, and that, and it's all a recycling thing, isn't it? Upcycle something. Do I need that little bloke sitting there? What do you reckon? I'll turn that around. I don't know whether I should put him there or another button up in that corner because, um, no, that's not right. I think I like the little flower though. It's a nice little flower. I might put that there, although I'm thinking I need to go to what further closer towards a, a yellowy colour or something. Like, um, I don't know. How about that? How about that? Remember that one? Or maybe, um, not even that. What what else have I got that's different to put on there? Um, something, I don't know what I'm looking for. You know, you, you don't sometimes, but then when you find it, you know what it was, don't you? <laughs> this is cute. Why do I see? Don't lose the thing for your cameras on you. This is a cute bit of a button, isn't it? Looks a bit like a mushroom. I'd have to actually take the back off that and sit it on there on something on there, on there yeah. right give me a look at this bit you know what, when something's not coming to you, you're probably supposed to leave it alone. So let's go and look at another page to do something with. And that'll probably be the inside of this one where I just stuck these this pocket here on here this morning. Okay. So I need to put something onto here. And you, there's my nice pocket. I do love the pocket. And I might even go and put one of my one of my dear little things one of these dear little twinchies on here. What do you reckon? Don't you think that looks awesome? I do. Beautiful. Mm, there. Alright. Don't know. Because I might put some um, trim along this. I don't know whether to put some... What have I got? I'm sticking with the colours so I don't want to go wrong with it. Don't think that's long enough. I've just seen it there look very I haven't sort of thought about doing these side bits, so you just have to bear with me because I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. Another piece of velvet. Don't know what I'm gonna do with the edges, is what I'm trying to say. Because I haven't thought about it and I haven't thought therefore I don't have anything handy ready to do it with. I don't think. Let me just have a look over here a second. Have a okay. Something that's not too wide. And these are all really wide. In this packet. Oh dear. Yeah, this is cool. This is gonna this is gonna do something nice. Look at that. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? Oh boy. <laughs> We're gonna make a fluffy book. <laughs> well I'll have a fluffy page in it. Look at that. Wow, isn't that awesome? Now I'm gonna have to work this out so that sticks without gluing down all the frilly bits. So I'm gonna take it a little bit past it, move it out of my way. Be very careful doing this because I don't want to get all that caught. Okay. 
it will strengthen the page a tiny bit and it's up to 49 so that's eight minutes since I looked at it is that right must be <laughs> a silly looking thing <laughs> it's a t it's, I can't figure out how to use it it says what to do on it but I'm <laughs> definitely not you know it says 750 something now this is a, is a stop and a start and is this and that and hubby comes in and he says you just do that and you do that and, you, and then he goes and I go what are you anyway it's just the thing that people do to you when you, <laughs> when you don't seem to know how to figure something out so I'm just going to watch it go from there and see I'll get a piece of tissue so I can take the sticky off the end of this pack um, I need to take the sticky off the end of here glue the glue off right I was watching one of my videos one other day about me with my messy room and somebody said you know that I had a lot of stuff in that but I do and a lot of it is because anytime I had a birthday Mother's Day Christmas anniversary I always asked for a couple of rolls of a couple of reels of thread or bit of fabric or a book um, you know and the kids always bought me that sort of thing so besides them getting things for me and my mother and you know anybody else in the family used to always buy me something to do with crafting because that's what I wanted and now I'm 63 years old and that's why I've managed to collect up a lot of bits and pieces you know so I'm very, very lucky that I've got that sort of thing. I used to only have a lot to do with um, embroidery in that once. and But now, look at that. <laughs> How good is that for a page? Look, it even made this one here look up, bling up a bit. Look at that. I don't guess what I'm going to do. I'm going to put that in a book. <laughs> I am. I don't know what but I love it. <laughs> ah, dear. I'm a bit concerned, I don't think that's stuck down at the bottom there. It isn't, we need a bit more glue. I'll oh, stop foofing. Foofing at me. Just be very careful with your glue. Uh, now the lady told me that the lady told me that she was putting glue on the back of her ribbon embroidery to hold down, I think that's what she said to hold down the stitches, you know, the ribbon to make sure it didn't go anywhere and she was really pleased I showed her that you just sew it down later I think oh, that's what I got from what she said anyway so I'm really pleased about that too now if I'm if I'm going to um, put this on here, I think to put it there because if you're trying to put something in a pocket oh, I suppose it'll work I need to switch, turn this around so I can see what it looks like there or there Okay, well see, you can write there, there's plenty of journaling space there to write. So, I don't know whether this has actually um, changed my mind whether to put that on there or not. How about that one? Because whatever tag I put in there, hopefully it'll be something that will go really well with that and fit here. And, you know, it'll look good so I won't need to possibly put too much on here but I do still think I'd like something on the top of it just to we'll leave that bit for the time being we'll come back to there later okay now I do love what I've done with this fluffy bit I do like that let's have a look and see what happens when we put all this other in there when I say all this other and we put that bit in there with it Hey, look at that. That's going to be absolutely beautiful. I'm going to put a bit more of that on there, I'd say. Now we're going to open that page, and that's what we've got in the inside of there. So the next one will be that one. And then I might put in... Uh, I'm not going to put that in there. I want to put something different, different colour. Um maybe the blue stripey maybe this blue stripey one would be nice haven't cut it down yet got to do that don't I before I decorate it I have to cut it down because I haven't got it to the right size 
I have to cut it down first. Oh, no. So, <clears throat> where's me cutting the thing? Come on, there you are. Very good. Oh, no. So, I'm going to put that there in the center. Find a a little white line there you can cut it and from the top here measure this down I'll cut this down here I have it folded in half but I think it'll be alright if it's not I'll just have to fix it won't I What? It must have been must have been heavy enough on that when I was pushing it down to start with. I, I don't um come on, off there. Gotcha. And down this bit. Now this time Sonia you push down on it when you get you've got to press down because the blade goes up inside this round thing that's on the end of it. You gotta press it down. When you're cutting the other one that I've got, um, you don't need to do that with it. So, there you go, that's done. Right now, myself back under here. I've just seen a really pretty picture up here. Oh, yeah. this is from the a book that somebody gave me a, this piece of out of um oh, what's her name? Shirley Barber, absolutely brilliant lady in as far as drawing and stories and that it goes. These side panels, I really do like them. I'm going to have a bit of a go at chopping one of these out and see what it's going to look like. I need to find something interesting to do with the uh, this next sheet of paper, don't I? I? Need to find something interesting to put on it. Don't know what. I'll, f I'll figure it out though. See, the trims around the edges of these things are just as nice as what the pictures are, aren't they? Look at that! Isn't that cool? That bit there. I hope you know I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm just a look at this clock thing. I don't know how long I've been here, but it, I hope it just doesn't go over the time so it'll cut out. I don't like when it does that. I um, don't know what I'm doing. I can tell you that now. I've got no idea. I love the little bee. I do like all that stuff on there. But do I want it to go around the corner or do I just want it to be a panel? of something over the top of a piece of beautiful fabric. Let me have a look and see what I've got here to put it over the top of. Um, that's really pretty, isn't it? And the colours in that. I do like that. No. That's probably not right. There's more here. Some more. Um, right. Hmm. Don't know about this one either. Which side is it? This is actually a polyester cotton. I think this one. So what sort of a thing can I make? I've made a pocket and I've got a, dra a drawing and I've got that thing on the envelope. Maybe I could do another envelope or a flip up thing. Maybe I could do a flip up thing so that you hide something underneath or well not actually hide it under there but you know this is pretty. This is a pretty piece. This is a nice piece isn't it? 
you could put something underneath that. A little book or something maybe. What do you reckon? Definitely want to use this somehow. I'm going to cut it up the rest of the way up here and see what it looks like. And that says it's 8 uh, eight, oh, eight oh whatever. <laughs> so I definitely want this piece, don't I? Oh, I'm losing that idea. Let's have a let's have a pocket. Let's have a pocket made out of this because I do really like this. I really do love this piece of fabric on that. That looks awesome, doesn't it? So we want to frill it. I say frill it. I'll cut it a little bit bigger so I can pull back the threads because. Uh, Nope, but the wrong bit. Make it look um, a bit straggy. I like the look of that. I do like the straight and plain look too, but I just, when something's <coughs> a little bit fray, that's really nice, I think. So by cutting it a bit bigger, it allowed me to, <coughs> excuse me, I better get a mouthful of water for a, I don't know. I think I have a lot of allergies. I'm going to try and get myself... Oh, I need one of those room things, you know, that breathe, makes the air go nice for you. Oh, one of those. I've got one of those too. Um, air purifier or something. Because I've always got <coughs> some sort of coffin or thing going on with myself. Don't like it. The coughing, I mean, I don't okay <laughs> on that either this at this stage. Um I could go up there I guess. Or over here. That'd be different. Very stark the white, but that doesn't matter because we need nice we need nice things, don't we? Pretty things. Now these should meet up. If you fold them in a certain way, I think you'll get them so they'll all meet. Let's see. Each one of those will come and come together, these little flowers. Hopefully that will work. <coughs> that was just sitting underneath my arm. <laughs> Thought I'd just grab that up. Well, if it in reality this is going to keep that um, a lot stiffer, you know, so it'll be more uh, stable, you know, if you're going to put something down in there. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it by juice. I suppose it would be interesting just to have the um, the top part of there, but I'm going to put it down the back because it'll help it slip whatever you're putting in there go down behind it easier. Okay. <clears throat> I'll explain that a bit better in a minute when I put this on here. I hope I'll explain it a bit better. Um, so you put that on there and then because that's got perforations in it or holes or whatever I'm going to have to leave it till it dries before I put it on the blue or otherwise I'll, I could stick something behind there though for it to dry on couldn't I so I won't have to leave it I'll just put a piece of plastic behind it of some acetate or something like that people put behind it anything that won't the glue won't stick to that good you can just take it off so that's what I'm going to do and I'm going to finish putting glue on the front part of this because I didn't put a lot on so I'm just, just checking to see if I still liked it all you know because you don't know do you when you're doing something this is not what I was going to do <laughs> anyway is it I'm going to have to get my thinking cap on so I can come up with some different ideas for this gel give it a little touch and a pat there and it can't go on there because it's going to stick okay and that's going to go on there but not just yet. That looks really nice, very gardeny. Yeah, very gardeny. Now, um, this piece here can be on the background somewhere, can't it? Mm, I don't know. I see why it couldn't be, but maybe I could use it for a tag. Maybe it just doesn't go as good on that as what it did before. So let's go and just have a quick look through the little bits and pieces that I have collected up here to do this with. 
um, and see what I've got that might go on that page. Okay, that looks good, doesn't it? This one's nice, but I want something a bit more. Uh, yeah, you can see. <laughs> want something a bit more as you can see there yeah, so well that lady looks nice doesn't she I printed that off when it was um the glue was run out the ink was run out of my on my printer and it made it nice and pink and I think that looks awesome but I don't, she's not going in there because this is the wrong 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 thing oh look at the colours oh look at that isn't that awesome? That's going as a tag in there. We're making a tag out of this. This come off one of those books. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. Come off one of the um, paint uh, <laughs> drawing painting books. I'm going to cut this out straight before I forget what I'm going to do with it and I'm going to make it for the tag in there okay looks not too bad but you know what I can fix it maybe so it looks, looks amazing <laughs> so not just not too bad because I would have cut this out by hand and that's something that I can't really do straight I don't think I can anyway Gotta stop all that smacking this down. I don't want to stop making this noise. Sorry about that. <coughs> Deary me. Get me coughing and carrying on here. Um, I'm gonna put this up the right way too. Make sure I get it up the right way. <coughs> and I want a piece of paper now to put on the back of it so you can do writing on the back. <coughs> So that's up. Where, where's the where's the thing? <laughs> Come here to me. All right. So that's going to go down in the back of there. Okay. I think that looks really good. The colours and that go really well. I think that's really pretty. I might just do some edging on this and not worry too much about what I'm going to put at the back of it. I might put more than one tag in there, of course. So that'd be a good idea. I do like things like that on the on it. So. But um, I think with sticking with what I'm doing, I think it needs to be uh, this one. It's from Parks Porcelain Painters. Mm. It's on a bit of, uh, it was on the cover, so it'll go on really well. Well, it'll look, be a nice thick thing. And I'll get a piece of paper out of here, out of here, so yep, yeah, behind me. Well, I did have it in here. You know how that is, though, don't you? We've always got things where we think they are. And then they disappear on us. Where's my writing pages? Where is my writing pages? It's supposed to be here in the... Um, oh, dear, oh, dear. Would I have moved them? I probably would have, you know me. Don't know why. I must have wanted them for something, I suppose. Oh. Oh, dear, do you look at that? I'll show you that in a minute. I'll say, look at that, and I'll place it over there so you can't see it. Hang on, what have I got here? Uh, come here. I've got this bit. Look at that. I've got a bit. I'll put this under here. And I didn't really want to turn this video off because I really want to um, keep 
going on this, but I just don't know how. Look, you can see through that. Does that matter? I don't think so. I don't know. I'll think about it. I'll think about it and see what it, sort of idea I come up with about it. <laughs> okay. Now, I don't know if I need them. Um... See, on here I stamped something. That's what that is. So that's not going to look very nice, is it, on that? No. Well, look, that's what I'm going to do with it, and I'll show you later that I'm going to actually um, put another piece of paper on the thing. Now, this hole making things a little bit big, but that doesn't matter. We just need to, so to put something through. Do I supposed to put that up? No, I'm supposed to put it over here, aren't I? I'm, I'm going to eyeball this. It's not in the centre. I don't know about now. Oh, it's not bad. I do not I hate doing those corner bits. I muck them up all the time. And this is a piece that I will put in here later too. I'm going to add this to the book, one of these pieces of um, squares, right? Now, I want to put this piece in here. This bit of fabric on here. Which you can put a piece of um, card stock or something behind here if you want to. But it should be fine. It's not going to do anything, you know. You just want to put a bit of glue around your edge, not where your frilly bit is, because it'll all be coming out everywhere. The glue will be all over the place. Okay. Okay, that's that there bit. That's not finished yet, though, for my liking. I would like to do something with this piece here. <coughs> And goodness only knows what we'll do yet. <coughs> we'll find something to put on it. We'll find something to put on it. Yeah, we will. Um, maybe something diamondy, you know. <laughs> uh, whereabouts were they out there? Oh, yeah, I do. I need to be self-organised. I need to have a set of stuff out there and a set of things in here so I can do more than one thing, you know. But anyway, that's going to go in there. And I do like that on there. So I'm going to put that there, but I want something else to go on it as well. <clears throat> Don't know what, but we'll find it. It'll be here somewhere amongst what I'm doing. You watch. Some sort of really nice diamondy thing, or, you know, blingy, I mean. We'll go with the bling. And that's what I mean when I say diamond. I've started that a long time ago. My brother goes cook on me for calling every shiny thing diamond, but you know what? It, <laughs> to me, it's all good. <laughs> It's all good to me. It's all just blingy and beautiful, all this stuff that we have. Okay, so something different I want to put on there. Something really, you know, exciting and different. Uh, no, that's not exciting at all, is it, really? What have I got in this box here? Oh, look, oh, what's it, Dave? I didn't think I had any in here with me. I thought I sorted it all out this morning. Out there in the lounge room, thought I figured it all out. But anyway, oh, I can't don't believe this, it's getting a bit warm in here. It looked like this yesterday, too, though, because it's only a very small space that I'm in. <laughs> Just enough room to put me things around the outside of myself and sit in there amongst it. <laughs> yeah, that's a good button. No, don't want the button. These are more or less just pins and things, aren't they? Really? No, 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 no. Don't have any flat bits of bling. This is all pins and things. I think. My daughter was in the other day and she took a few things. So she liked it. <laughs> Found herself a nice necklace <laughs> with them. With some stuff on it, and said, Mum, I'll just have this one. I said, That's okay. You can have as many as you like. I have a truckload of stuff. Now, where will I find what I'm looking for? Buttons. 
Oh dear, I'm going to be able to put these in here, look. Wow. Forgot about that. Forgot I had these. Why well, these look good in this book? Oh dear. It's stuck together. Oh, oh good, I got it. Look at this. There's a rabbit on that one. There's a little lady on there. These look good, awesome in this book, won't they? Everybody. Yes, they will, surely. I don't think I'll put that there. That's a bit wrong. These are buttons, or beads, I mean, and these are buttons. And the buttons, I probably should have, could use a couple of them, I guess, if I change the picture on them a bit. Just need some time to change the picture. See what something else is interesting to put on there. Uh, and no blingy bits in there that I was looking for. Okay, one more thing and then I'm going to stop tormenting you. Look at this. This is the biggest gypsy piece of stuff I've ever seen in all my life. <laughs> I thought it looked good. Anyway, it's a beautiful, um, I think they're, they're glass. Oh, aren't they awesome? Really, really awesome. And those that I need. Hem up my husband's trousers. Um, oh, that's interesting. Wrong colour, though. Wrong colour. My old watch. Goodness me. I've got everything scattered everywhere these days. I'm a messy old business. So, I better go and let you get on with what you're doing. I'm just looking through my little bits and pieces here to find some something exciting to put on that. I like that bead. I don't know if I'll put it there though. This could have went in the gypsy thing, but I think I'll put a different guitar in that. I've been doing some work on it, but not a lot, because there's a lot of stuff that's got to be put it, taken in. That looks nice. It's very, very laid back and, and pretty. This one here is pretty. Look at that. Isn't it? Too thick though. You know, you're going to have, and it'll end up with the book. The book will be too thick for me to close it. It doesn't really matter. Don't like that one. Not that much anyway. Okay. This one I made myself. Oh, I used to love doing this. I haven't got back to it. I used to absolutely love doing this bead. I'm going to put some of that, that in there. Don't know whether it'll be that one or not, but I'm going to put some of that sort of stuff in there. Some bits and pieces of stuff that I've made. You know? Because it's nice to have your work. Um, you know, one more thing. This little bloke. Or maybe that. I don't know. I will decide, and when I come back on here later, I'll show you what I decided. Because sometimes it doesn't, it takes a while for us to make up our mind to be doing these sort of things. And that's too heavy. Because it's paper, I don't want to put anything on there that's too too heavy, because it'll, it'll pull it to one side or whatever, pull it out of shape. You know, so the best thing would probably be for me to use a really light button or or something now that'll look good too wouldn't it it's different and oh dear anyway so i might have to actually use a flower i think although this little heart's neat i didn't want to put anything too heavy like i said i don't know we'll go with one of these i think it just needs something behind that that is not enough it needs a thing behind like a little a little flower a little um uh something that'll lift it up a bit I don't mean pick it up off the page I meant you know that is it that's what I'm doing right oh there you go I finally got it okay right that's what I'm going to put on there and this is how I make a mess so I spread everything out like I just did <laughs> put it all over the place Okay, does anybody remember what colour I put on it? <laughs> yeah. Got a bit much glue there. It went wild with the purple. 
wasn't it? Yes, that is so pretty. I'm looking for pretty today. I do like making journals, but I like them to be pretty. We can't call this a, a, a junk journal. We'll call it a um, leftover journal. <laughs> Bits, pieces of stuff journal. Okay. I was just going to show you some of those. Um, that is awesome. I love it. I'm going to put some um, washi tape pieces on here. I'll pick out the things that I want to put on it, though. I'm going to have to go through and cut off what I like. Um, I have more out in the land room, so I'll go and look at them. But I've also ordered more, which I can't help myself. But look, it's not there very dear, and it's really neat stuff. Really neat, because it's... Um, yeah, look at that. I'll show it to you upside down. Look at that. that. That looks absolutely amazing. Look at that. I'm going to have to do that. I'm not going to take it right to the top because it gives you a bit more of a... I don't know. You see what it looks like, don't you? Wait a minute now. Got it straight. No, it went too far there. And it doesn't really come off like the other ones. It does come off, but like... It'll tear your paper if you try to get it off. Okay. Don't think I've overdone it, do you? Do you think it's too much? Nope. Pretty. You need to, it needs to be pretty. <laughs> it needs to be pretty. I do like it. Now, I'll just show you what did, what did I have here that I wanted to look at. <clears throat> this book's coming along good. Them I don't like. I can't really put them in there. Oh, that I do. Oh, wow, look at that. These come out of a book. Oh. Oh, dear, I might be able to make something. Oh, look at this one. Oh, dear, I'm going to photocopy these. What do you reckon? Isn't that awesome? Actually, I've got no idea what they come out of. Some, some oldish sort of book someone had. And these are out of those... Um, uh, painting ones, you know, like for, uh, mate, putting your pictures onto the thing. And isn't this cool? Oh dear, look at the boots. Oh, isn't this awesome? 